my name is Ray and welcome to House Innovation. I don't know if it's just me, but lately these days I've been getting recommended these really adorable Minecraft building tips and tricks or like interior decor that I can do. And so for a video, I thought it'd be really fun if I could find a Minecraft map of which where I can redecorate in a sense. And so right behind me is created by this user whose name I cannot pronounce for the life of me. So one look at the house immediately and it's really cute. It's supposed to be a Victorian house. There's a lot of detailing in the building. But today we're not going to focus on the exterior, you know, it's just the interior, but I may do some like I don't know, maybe I'll I'll add some foliage, some more trees or something. I'm not really sure. But let's head on inside cuz that's all that really matters, right? Knock knock. I'm I'm coming in. Boom. Ooh. Oh. Well, uh, first impressions, it's actually not that bad. I'm not really sure if it's because of my shaders, but it's quite dark even though there's light but let's go to the left and oh my god oh my god what the is that like six six there's like three in there right it appears i need to call in pest control because oh my god be free oh <laughs> oh they're so <laughs> oh my god all right let's look around this is a really huge tv um oh that's so this, it's the wall. There's also a bookshelf here, so they apparently like reading, that's good to know. <laughs> Putting it down in my notes. And there's also a bar here, oh my god, I can't even get up these stools. And here, there's a library, a really, really thick library. It's kind of, it's kind of cramped as well. Over here, there's the kitchen. Ooh, it's, everything's quite far. You know, I can't, I can't imagine you'll reach any of these little things. I mean, obviously in Minecraft you can, but it's a bit, it's a bit too thick. And what's in here? There's some chests. Uh, I'm just gonna leave you to it. <laughs> that actually shocked me. What the heck? I thought, I thought there was a person in here. What the heck? And there's another storage here. Maybe it's a pantry in here this time. I'm not really sure, but... And this door leads to the backyard. At the very least, the lawn is mowed, so that's really nice. There's a pond, a chair, and... Oh my god, there's a trampoline. If there is a trampoline, I must. It's a legal obligation to bounce. Oh, this is so fun. But I feel like I'm gonna get hit with the tree, so... That's a bit dangerous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Scribbling, scribbling. Well, let's head back indoors and let's check upstairs. Up the staircase, and... So, this is kind of like... A little, little like balcony, I guess. A railing to kind of look, look at the look, look at the living room. And these two rooms are the bedrooms. So this is one room. Hello, do you live in here? This is a nice bed that looks out to the backyard. So bad. And then inside here, this is another bedroom. Oh, were you just taking a nap? Oh my god. <laughs> and there's a table here to look out. And nothing. And this final room in the house is the bathroom, which is actually not that bad. It's, it looks really nice. There's a toilet that you can't access. Please open up the toilet. <laughs> Please hurry up. <laughs> and there's... Oh, wait. Is this? Wait, hang on. Which... Wait. wait. Is... Is this the toilet? Wait, which one is the... To which one is the toilet? This is a mystery that has to be solved or else or else there's gonna be something really disgusting happening. All right, well, now that we've reviewed the house, I guess it's up to me to get my trusty dust broom and let's just uh, clean out the place a little bit. My first order of business, I'm going to get rid of these bats because they're really annoying and very squeaky. Okay, so I think I cleared the bat problem, except for one bat that I, I can hear it squeaking, but I don't know where it is. Maybe, maybe it's in the library? Okay, I haven't really checked here that much. Or the kitchen. Maybe it's in here. Are you secretly the bat? Uh, wherever it is, let's just open up the doors so that it can leave. So I think for our first order of business, we need to have more light. It's way too dark in here. And in all honesty, I want, in the moment I step foot into this house, to be flashbanged. So let's get to it. So there's this really cute light that I saw in Pinterest, and I really want to recreate it because I think it looks quite- Oh, uh, it's too dark. Let's put some temporary lights around because that was really stupid and clumsy of me. <laughs> 
as I was saying, there's this really cute light that I saw on Pinterest and I thought it would be really cute to recreate it. Okay, so I think what I need from the picture is some hoppers, a lantern, and finally I think I just need a sign. I think an oak sign will be fine. So uh, let's just install all these lights. I wonder if this is a bit too much lights, but it looks it looks nice. All right, and I'm gonna get rid of all these glowstones and see how bright this really is. And this is the last one. All right, I think this is more decently well lit. It doesn't doesn't look too bad. <laughs> all right, so I think for here I want to do something interesting and definitely not something I'd have in my own house. I think I want to make an aquarium. So I'm going to I'm gonna try to build one. Oh god. Oh no, this this wall isn't too too thick. Okay, I'm gonna move this staircase like by one. So just get rid of this and get rid of the railings. <gasps> Wait, I forgot what as uh, quartz. I forgot what the what the stairs were made out of. I don't really remember how the stairs look like, so uh, I'm just gonna fix this later. <laughs> and let's install the railings back. Oh my god, that was so loud. Alright, so uh, how am I supposed to make this, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna make it, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wing it, I guess. Okay, let's just get some glass, that's gonna be really important. Maybe, maybe, maybe glass panes, I'm not really sure which one would be better. And maybe some water. Actually, I don't know how transparent the water's gonna be. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. So maybe you wanna make this, like, too thick? Oh, that looks a bit too extra. Hmm. Maybe I could do it, like like this and then <laughs> this looks kind of goofy i don't know how i'm gonna do this was making an aquarium a bit too a bit too much for me perhaps i guess it's, it's a fine height for a for an aquarium oh god this looks kind of <laughs> this looks kind of bad <laughs> wait maybe i could put some like button here yeah are you like make this and then i can go outside and like maybe try to like thicken the walls <gasps> oh, I forgot to install it. Okay, I'm gonna try to extend this house with world edit. We're gonna see how pretty this will end up. I can't believe I'm doing this much work for just one measly aquarium. All right, let's go back in because I fixed the issue. So now this should be, uh, I could probably put water in here. So let's first make this into sand. This is not sand. Where is normal? Wait, this is this is normal sand. This here, and then I'm gonna put some like kelp maybe, um, and then coral for fun. <gasps> I really like this tube coral. <gasps> oh, I think I think this this tube coral will go nicely with the yellow house. And let's also get some tropical fish. Why not? Okay, hopefully this is not too dark. And let's put one tropical fish. <gasps> oh, it's so cute! Oh my god. Wait, I just realized that I, I can't exactly get out. <laughs> oh, <gasps> uh-oh. I'm in the bathroom slash sink or toilet. I don't even know what this is. Again, that is a mystery that we will have to solve. All right, so that's the aquarium, which you can barely see. <laughs> what the heck? Hmm, I'm thinking maybe you could put like glowstone in there. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt it. Oh God, no, there's a flood. Uh-oh. Oh, I messed up. I've done goofed up. Oh, okay. Uh, um. Uh, uh, okay, let's just put the glass pane back. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to sacrifice the kelp or the blue coral, and I think I'm gonna sacrifice the blue coral for some glowstone. Please don't sink down here, and I'm just gonna go up, put the yellow terracotta back, and there we go. It's way more brighter, I think. Did it change? Did anything change? Well, I'm just gonna leave it like this for now, and this is the aquarium finished. I guess I'll get rid of this carpet since it's already like. It's already gone. I gotta do a lot of cleaning, oh my god. I think I'll also fix up this shelf right here. So let's get rid of this shelf and let's let's actually get this really cute like grandfather clock that I found online. So I'm gonna try to recreate it, but I'm also gonna put my own spin in it. Some spruce and I think I need some spruce trap doors. And I need an item frame with a clock. Let's also get some bookshelves, why not? And let's also get this loom right here. All right, so how 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 does this work? So I'm just gonna put one and then like one up here, and then put the spruce trap doors. This is a bookshelf, and then this would be a loom. 
Oh, wait, how do I? Like this? There you go. It doesn't really match with the color, so I might just like keep this as a bookshelf. And then it's gonna go like this. There you go. And now let's put the spruce trap door here and take this. <laughs> let's also take a spruce sign and let's just kind of cover it up like this. <gasps> that looks really nice. Oh my god. And I think all we need to do is get like a strip spruce log put this under and then like put the clock inside and i think to change it up a little bit i'm gonna put this lightning rod because i think it really looks like the like the little bell thing i think that looks really nice also this is supposed to be a trap door so there you go oh that looks way nicer i think i'm gonna put, put like a something something green here to like break up the browns so let's take a i'm gonna put like a flower pot on top and then like a flowering it oh that is so cute already and then i'm gonna oh that looks so nice oh my god Wait, i don't think i even need like the compost i think i just need i think i just need these and then i'll like make it higher oh that is so cute i am kind of obsessed with this this is actually oh i'm in love oh my god this already looks so nice uh i'm not really sure what else to do i think i'm going to put something like something here maybe i'm gonna put I'm gonna put a shelf here. How do I do this? Like, I want it. There you go. And there you go. And then I'm gonna put it like this. And I'm gonna put something here. I don't really know what to put. Maybe just a nice little flower. There we go. Actually, I think this would look nicer when it's a bit high up. There we go. Alright, that looks super nice. Alright, I'm gonna make a red carpet. But I think I'm just gonna put like random like red stuff in there as well. Like this red glazed terracotta maybe a red mushroom too like why not let's experiment a little bit i don't know i kind of want to make this like pathway a little bit more interesting i might hate it though <laughs> i already hate it i'm gonna just like randomize everything i'm now gonna layer some carpet on top of this to like make it a bit more interesting honestly i kind of don't even hate it actually <laughs> Ooh, i want to see if i can add these like fire coral fans <gasps> wait that'll be so interesting <gasps> wait it looks so good oh my god okay i think i'm gonna get some mangroves and then i'm gonna like I'm gonna put some water in the slab and then and then it should stay red forever <gasps> oh no i just messed everything up dude i'm so stupid oh my god please unsee that no my flowering and celias I, I was so proud of you I kind of like it. It kind of like makes it look like the carpet is a little bit fluffy. I don't really know. It's kind of cute. I actually really like it. I think to tie in it, I'm going to put a little seating area here. Oh wait, that one is crooked. Well, <laughs> okay. So I think generally this is the front area finished. So let's move on. Let's move on to the living area. So I think the first thing I need to do is figure out this fireplace situation. I'm gonna get rid of these chairs. I don't really need them. <laughs> and goodbye. I hear a bat. <gasps> no, no, no. Wait, I need a sword. Oh my god. Come here, cretin. Oh, I kind of feel bad. Not really though. So with that fireplace gone, I'm gonna try to recreate this really grand fireplace that I found online. I think in order to be able to recreate it, I'm gonna have to replace this window here with like with like a wall so this will need a few things so i'll need a i need i need brick <gasps> wait should i do red nether brick or should i do brick brick which which how are we feeling mm, i like the variety on the brick i think i'm gonna go with i'm gonna i think i'm gonna settle with the bricks so we'll need a few different bricks here and we'll also need some and this side walls and four and also lastly i think we'll need some campfires Okay, let's put this here and then make this corner stuff. And I think there we go. <laughs> the smoke kind of like gets clogged a little bit. Maybe we can just open this up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. I think, I think this is a bit too much here. Okay, you know what? I actually really like this fireplace. I'm gonna like put some variety up here and like make some of this like kind of like this. Okay, so that's the fire completed. I'm gonna get rid of this bookshelf here. Then I'm gonna add just a really simple like seating area. I'm gonna add only two chairs that are kind of facing each other. 
And maybe I can add a carpet in the middle? I'm not really sure what color though. Uh, I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm just gonna randomly pick a duh. Blue! Ooh, it doesn't really go well, but I, I, I guess I don't really have that much of an option. Also, this is gonna definitely catch on fire, but it's also not my problem. Alright, so this is the fireplace area completed. I think I should also put a painting in here. I think I think that'll be a nice little add. I forgot Minecraft paintings suck. They look so bad. <laughs> okay, let's just add this one. I think oh, this doesn't look too bad. Alright, now let's fix this comically large TV into something a little bit smaller. Okay, so I'm gonna try this really cute TV design that I found. Huh? huh? Is that, is that what the- Huh? What? What? Oh my god, there's just random salesmen outside my house. What the heck's going on here? What the? I'm sorry, but I'll have to execute you. It's, 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 it's not you, it's me. I'm the problem. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please don't run away. Oh my, oh my. Oh. Well, none of you saw that, so it's total okay. Let's just uh, dispose of the evidence. <laughs> and also the murder weapon. All right, so where was I? So there's this really cute TV design that I want to try out. So I'm going to make it. Okay, I'm gonna put the campfire first because it's so darn dark in this room. And let's put these stone bricks on the side. And let's also put the glass pane here to like make sure no one dies in the fire. And then let's put some slabs everywhere except for here on top of the fire so that we can put some black co- Huh? Don't know what happened there, don't ask. So put some note block on the side. Finally, some stone brick slabs. This is actually such a cute design. I think I'm gonna couple it with some button that I can find here. A black button. There and there. Oh, this looks really nice. Now I think I'm gonna make a nice little table area. I think for this, I'm going to use a loom. Let's get a uh, yeah, blue banner. Why not? Because there's a blue carpet here. Get some white dye and I have an idea of what I want to try out. Uh, I'm gonna try these like striped patterns. I think this is a really cute one. I get um I think I think a dark oak stair and maybe some sign here. Where should I do a spruce sign? I'm just gonna go like here. Kind of make an L shape. I really like L shaped couches a lot. And let's put the carpet. What the heck? What? What? Huh? What the heck? My shaders are messing me up. No! Okay, what the heck? What was the point of me doing all of this? You know, black pillows are kind of in these days. I'm just gonna keep it. Why not? It also doesn't look any better without shaders. So, uh, yeah, I really don't know how to fix this. Okay, I think I'm gonna make a little, like, little mini table here with some spruce fences. So, I'm gonna put log here. And I'm kind of like off to the side. I'm just gonna like put some random stuff in here, like why not? I've also added, I think I'm gonna improve this glowstone kind of like chandelier with this really cool like like chain chandelier chandelier that I found online. Uh how how do how 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 does one go about this? I guess like one by one the chains just get longer and longer. There you go, like that? Oh I think I'm doing it. Oh, this is actually a really sick design. Oh my god. It looks like a cloud that's like raining or something. I don't know, maybe I'm going crazy. Alright, I think I think this is enough. Now I'm gonna get some lanterns. And we're going- <gasps> Should I try soul lanterns? Oh, this looks nice. Wait, I don't think it lights up. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, does it not light up? Hang on. Let me see. Oh, it doesn't light up. What the heck? Oh, maybe some of them could be like- the actual lanterns, because I actually really like the soul lantern. There you go, this this looks pretty nice. I like this chandelier. Okay, well, I think this is the living area finish. I kind of like the improvement, so let's go on to the next room. I think I'm going to end up like demolishing this area and turning it into a dining room. Alright, so this is the room all cleared. I think I'm going to open up these four little areas here and make more of the light design that I did. Ah! Ah! Okay, so I have this clean slate of area, so there's a lot that I could work with, but I think I should first start off with the dining table. Okay, so as an example, this would be like the table, this would be the chair, and actually, no, that would be a 
that would be a, like a like a three store or something like yeah that, this this can work and it will just extend it forward okay so th this works out now the unfortunate thing about this is i'm not really sure how i'm gonna make it supported i guess i can do it like that yeah like this okay i guess pr problem solved <laughs> It actually kind of like rubs me the wrong way that like the doorknob is and this doesn't really matter but wait what wait, how do i how why is it what there you go that was weird okay so kind of spruce things up a little bit i'm going to um, i'm going to make a banner so let's get a loom let's do a cross and then let's do another cross and then and then I think to top it off, we'll do a circle in the middle and do it the same thing in white. I think this is a really fun like design. It kind of has some like intricacy to it, some like plain white. So I really like it. Kind of reminds me of lace. Okay, so I put that on all of the chairs to make it look a little bit more interesting. Now I think I'm going to decorate the table here. So I'm going to get a fire pot and some flowers. I feel like an azure bluette is like the best option so let's, let's put this here there you go that's nice okay so now i'm gonna choose a food so i'm gonna pick steak and then um i guess i guess a water bottle <gasps> wait i want to i want to do this one this kind of this kind of looks like a apple juice i think it actually could just be kombucha <laughs> Lastly, I think a turtle shell kind of looks like a drink. I don't know, I'm crazy. I think I, I think I started to lose the plot. Lastly, I think I'm gonna put a shelf on the ceiling here and let's get like some random decorations. Like, I don't know, a lantern, I guess. And I think for fun, we can get some custom heads. So let's put a button so we can get this really cute flower pot here. Actually, speaking of custom heads, I think I'm gonna put more custom heads around. Okay, so with this custom head command, we're going to get a button and then we'll get this really cute white ceiling lamp. Now, it may not look like much, but I think it'll be really cute with this adorable light design. So all we need is a end rod and if we kind of stack it up like this and then put the ceiling lamp on top, it'll kind of look like a cute little lamp. I really like it. So I'm just going to put this around the house to lighten it up a little bit more. And I think one more in the dining room. Alright, so this actually looks really nice. Now, I think what would go really well is a carpet here, seeing as I had a carpet in every room. I kind of like the cyan to complement the turtle, like, the turtle shells. So I'm going to change the flooring to cyan wool. There we go, it looks way more colorful. Alright, so I think this is done for the dining room, so let's head on to the kitchen here. I think first off, I'm gonna destroy everything in the kitchen here and make it a little bit more accessible. And let's see the pantry situation, so let's get rid of these walls. Why, why, why is this? Let me just patch that up. Okay, so this is a kitchen that actually looks way more spacious than I thought it was. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the kitchen this way and have like the sink looking out here. And I can turn this into a wall and make one of them into a pantry area. Let's also change this one into a wall. This is so that I can cut off this area here and make it into like a pantry. And then this could work as like a little like dining room area. So first of all, I'm going to fix the ceiling here. Alright, so it's a bit dark, but it's okay because we're going to put the same lamps up here. Okay, so it's a lot more brighter, so let's start with the kitchen area. So I'm going to try this really adorable design from Clay Design MC. So let's start with the barrels, and I'm going to put them like right here. And I believe we also need one invisible item frame, so let's, so let's get a pressure plate and also a sign and last but not least i think we just need a trap door and it looks like a shelf <laughs> it's, it's really cute and then they had like this really genius idea to like put the lectern to kind of make it look like an oven hood or something that's so smart oh my god what the heck so first for the fridge we're just gonna put two blocks of quartz and a quartz slab on the top Glass furnace just needs that, and then we put water on our cauldron and a lever to make it look like a sink. 
And then it's the same design on the barrel like earlier. Now, there are some extra things included in this. So first off, we're going to get a loom again and make a fridge design. There we go. Oh, that looks, that looks, that looks accurate, I think. And let's also get a custom head. I think the salmon looks wild, so I'm going to try it out. And boop. Oh my god, it looks insane. She's so crazy for that. I love her. I suppose I should add some checkered flooring. It can't be a kitchen without it. So I think I'm going to use some blackstone for this. So let's make a checkered pattern. I don't- I clearly don't know how to make a checkered pattern. Um, oh, this looks cute. Oh my god, I love it. Alright, so I think that's the kitchen portion done. Now let's focus on the pantry. Now I think everyone and their mothers already know this trick, but you just need a shovel and just need to add some camping fire. Just like take it down and it'll look, it'll look like an actual pantry. So let's get some trap doors here. And then all you need to do is like fill it up with some food. So I'm just gonna get some like random stuff here, like a fish maybe. And that's the pantry done. Now let's make a mini version of this dining table in this in this here corner. Let's make it like this. And then let's put another one here. And for funsies, I'm just gonna put a celebratory cake here <laughs> for no reason. <gasps> oh, that looks delicious. Oh my god. It's kind of like a red velvet cake, I think. <gasps> Mmm. So also I'm here, I'm gonna put a painting down. There you go. And I think that's the kitchen all done. Uh, I don't have any much to expand on here, so I'm out. Now let's head upstairs into the second floor and let's see what to do with this bedroom situation. Now I think first of all, I'm gonna clear out this bedroom because it's a little bit much. <laughs> now interestingly, I think I'm going to make this into a two-person bedroom. Like one, a one bedroom but with two people and then I'm going to do a small bathroom here. And then this room will be the master bedroom with like its own bathroom it's gonna be a bit smaller but i think i think this is a good plan or something i don't know oh my god i just fell so first off we're going to lock up this room here and we're just going to focus on this one only okay so now this place is well lit so let's make a little entry here to the bathroom actually we can kind of extend this area now so let's do just that and then this is a little door so that they can go to the bathroom okay so let's start on the bedroom idea so i think first of all this definitely needs a bunk bed oh you know what it would be fun if they have like double bunk beds i don't know if that's something that i can do but i'm, I'm gonna try it oh i don't know what color i want for the beds maybe like i like the lime green maybe uh the the blue bed. Sure, why not? <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it like that. I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a uh, spruce spruce stair to make like a table of sorts. I wanna be able to put like ladders. I'm not sure I'm gonna do that though. I think I think this is the only way I can do it. Yeah, and then I think I put ladders. Yeah, I get the ladder here. Kind of do it like this. Is it, I, I think this is impossible to do it. Wait. I mean, I can put just like ladders on the side here. Oh, this looks so goofy. No. Maybe I can use doors instead. That could work. And then maybe like, I could just do it like this. Oh, wait. This could work. This could work. And then I just put a bed here. <gasps> okay, you know what? Okay, you know what? It works. You know, it kind of looks like the bed, like, <laughs> like was a bit too heavy on the, on the trap doors. But you know, I kind of like it. Maybe. Who knows? I wonder if I can fit an armor stand here. I mean, it has to work, right? <gasps> oh my god, I was joking when I said that, but I did not expect an armor stand to actually fit there. What? <gasps> oh, this changes everything. Oh my god, I can't believe it, but she's looking crazy for that. <laughs> there we go. You know what? It doesn't look that bad. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try this really funny design that I found. I'm not, I'm not I'm not sure how goofy it's gonna look, but I'm gonna try it. Wait, it's actually kind of huge. What the heck? And then you need to put a spruce fence and a flower pot on top. I don't know if you can tell what I'm trying to make. Okay, and then all I need is a music disc. So, an invisible item frame. And it's supposed to look like a guitar. <laughs> it's huge. It looks like those like really huge, like, it's not a violin, but... I like a cello or something oh my god and maybe to top it off i'm gonna put a little carpet here uh let's do let's do yellow 
Okay, so for the bathroom, I have a few fun designs I want to try out. So first one is this really cute like shelf that they did. So it's kind of an, an under, under, a, a backwards? I think it's a backwards. Yeah, it's a backwards beehive and you put some like lighter colored trap door and then you put like a darker trap door and then you put some turtle eggs. I think this is supposed to look like some like shampoos and whatever. And then you put a sign like this. Oh, well, I actually kind of like it. So for the sink, we're going to put, uh, we're going to put an invisible item frame. We're going to do it like this. And then I think it'll be fun for, this kind of looks like water. Maybe I lost the plot again, but it kind of looks like water. I don't know. And then let's get a flower pot and maybe a sapling, like a birch sapling to put here. And then we just need to make a mirror with a loom. That's my mirror. It actually looks kind of cute. So that's the sink done. Now all I need to do is make a shower area here. And I'm gonna go like this. Can I still fit in here? I can't. Well, you know it's Minecraft. I don't think you don't even need a bathroom in Minecraft, so it's gonna be fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an upside down end rod trap door and then i'm gonna change this into quartz and then that's the shower for you you can't you can't access it again but you know is anyone looking is anyone even gonna try it no it's gonna be fine all right so that's the bedroom first bath bedroom done so now let's start with the master bedroom room which is gonna be really small so it doesn't really matter let's get rid of all of these Okay, so the room is really small, but I finished dividing the area. I also increased this by one. And so we don't have a lot of room to work with, but I'm sure this will be fine. <laughs> okay, so for this bedroom and the bed especially, I think I'm gonna make it yellow because it's such a bright color. <laughs> and I'm gonna make like, I don't know, some crafting table. I really like the cartography table that I used earlier. So I'm gonna like put these two like that. <laughs> And maybe like encompass it all with a trap door. Does this look does this look weird? No, it kind of looks like a little crib. <laughs> okay, so this is the bedroom done. Now let's focus on the bathroom. Okay, so I'm gonna make a really simple kind of shelf design. And then let's put the turtle shells back. Cause I actually really like it. And for funsies, I'm gonna make a really huge like bathtub here. So let's get some water. And just like fill this up. Oh, this is a really skinny bathtub, but you know, it's, it's gonna be fine. And I'm gonna replicate the same kind of sink design I did earlier for the other bedroom. A tripwire hook to end it off. And there we go. Okay, so let me just get out of this room. It's so cramped. Oh my God. So every room in the house is already furnished, but I think to end off the video, I'm gonna work on the backyard. I think first off, I'm gonna just improve this little like pool thing area just, just a little bit to make it nicer. And put some ridiculous amount of lily pads, and let's also put some drip leaves, and let's also put these bigger drip leaves. So that's the pool I think done. Now I'm gonna get rid of this trampoline here, although I love it. I wanna add something really cute. Now I saw this adorable adorable swing set design in Pinterest and I really want to replicate it so uh, I think it's like this so it's about three wide and then you need some wait I'm gonna I want to make a face like this way and now all you need to do is like increase the height here and there you go and then you just need to put some chains down and then put a sign here to kind of like connect it and then you just need to make like a seating and there you go <gasps> this is adorable oh my god and last but not least i'm gonna add a pathway in the front of the house just to make it a tiny bit more interesting and let's also put some more trees around the house and bone meal the grass oh i love the tree it's so huge it looks like a christmas tree and I think that's the house redecorating done. I had so much fun. I also really enjoyed interior decor. So I would love to revisit this video once again in the future. Let me know if there's a favorite room from the decoration. Um, you can put in the comments down below. And yeah, so that'll be it for me here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!